Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Archcraft. Archcraft is built on top of Arch. It only uses window managers, so it's really lightweight and fast. So if you want to get into window managers and you don't really have any experience, this would be a good distribution to use to kind of get your feet wet. Uh, and when it boots up into the install, it actually does have a option for NVIDIA drivers. So if you've got an AMD card, you don't have to worry about that. But if you've got an NVIDIA card, you know how difficult that can be sometimes. So if we scroll down, we can look at some features. It's minimal. It can run in under 500 megabytes of memory. Stunning, it does look very good. Looks like it's got the plank panel at the bottom and then the poly bar across the top. And uh, the install that I'm using is running OpenBox as the window manager. And it's powerful, it's got support for the AUR, super lightweight again. All right, so if we go to download, You can see here, you can download it. Um, you can get it from SourceForge, Google Drive, or Mega. And then after you've downloaded it, it's got a little uh, command here that you can run that you can verify your ISO. So go ahead and download it. And then I'm not gonna re-download it, I've already got it, but I'll show you. Uh, we need to go grab etcher. etcher.balena.io download etcher and we want the 64-bit version so I'm going to download that and once again I've got that so I don't need it again but I'll go ahead and open the file manager and go to downloads oh I thought I had it I guess I don't so let me download it all right once it downloads you just right click on that go to properties permissions and allow it to run and then we'll just double click and we've got etcher so basically you'd pick your um, archcraft iso that we just downloaded here select your usb stick and then you'd flash it um, i don't need to do that so i'm not going to go through that but um, basically keep the usb stick in your machine after you flashed it Press F11 or F12 on your keyboard. That should get you to your boot menu. Sometimes it's escape, um, but get to your boot menu, select your USB drive and boot up into Archcraft install. And that's where we will pick back up. All right, we've made it to the install. Welcome to Archcraft. We've got a get started here, which is still under development. So I'm gonna hit super C to close that out. We've got our regular Calamares installer, or we've got this terminal based, which we could use. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna do Super C to close it out again. We'll launch Calamares. Okay, American English next. Pick your location, English default. You can pick if you want open box or BSPWM, or you could do both. I'm just gonna do open box. And then erase the disk, no swap. Put in a super secret password. And I'll speed this portion of the video up. All right, and it looks like the install finished. So I'll restart and then I'll meet you back on the first login. We've made it in our first login. Uh, if you click at the very top, you'll see you've got manage monitors. And this is really cool. Normally, 
Within a window manager, you have to go into the config file and set it up. Archcraft has this special select your monitor application it comes with. So select primary output, my display port. And then HDMI is to the right of that. And that's the resolution. Yep, that came out right. All right, and we will pull up the terminal. Alacrity, and we'll do a NeoFetch. And we see we're running Archcraft. Kernel 6.6.10. 1,051 Pac-Man packages. And it is running Openbox, the window manager. And just sitting here idle. I do have OBS open. I really can't trust that RAM usage there. It's saying 1.2 gigs, but it's more like, it's in the 700 range. Okay, and to get our menu, we just press the super key, or we can click on the Archcraft logo at the top left, and we'll just bring up an H top. And we do see our memory is at 1.16, but I do have OBS running to record the video. You can pause the video and look at the resource usage if you'd like. Okay, in our settings manager, this uses the XFCE settings module. And if we press super, and we type in open for open box, we can bring up the configuration manager. And this has lots of themes inside it. All right, so we come pre-install with Alacrity. That's just an OpenGL terminal. So we wanna do a NeoFetch. And Firefox is our web browser. Go to help and about, and it is version 121. And then the file manager, bring that over here to this screen. Help and about, we've got Thunar 4.18.10. And then Genie, it's just a text editor. And then we've got the XFCE terminal. and the XFCE settings module. Okay, I'm just gonna bring up the Rofi menu again and I will scroll through the applications that it comes installed with. Feel free to pause the video. Okay, so manage monitors, that's awesome. Then our file manager, there's an about, a help, Alacrity, Firefox. I've got OBS obviously, so I'm recording the video. There's our settings manager, power manager, keyboard and mouse, appearance, Bluetooth, display, Gparted comes pre-installed. There's Rofi, and there's looks like there's a Rofi theme selector, so you could change the appearance of the menu. And then our XFCE. I thought Plank came pre-installed. I might have missed it. Yeah, there's Plank. It's basically this menu down here. And then our NVIDIA settings. Got the NVIDIA card. All right, now we're gonna go grab Steam. And what I've done is I've gone to the Arch Linux packages and searched for Steam, just to make sure that we're grabbing the right thing. So what I'll do in the terminal is just a sudo pack Pac-Man S Steam. Press enter, put in our password. Sudo Pac-Man S Steam. Okay, so sudo Pac-Man SYU. I found. Oh, that's because we need multi-lib. We gotta enable multi-lib. And to enable multi-lib, just gone to the arch wiki and it's basically wanting us to go edit this pac-man config file so we'll do a sudo and then we'll do nano it's the app that i always use to modify config files we'll do ets pacman.conf and we want to scroll down until we see multi-lib and we'll just want to uncomment that
here we are. And we'll do a control plus O for out. We're going to write that out, press enter, control X to exit. And then I like to up arrow and go back into it and just make sure that my changes did successfully uh, save. So let's scroll down. Okay. And there's multi-lib and it's uncommon. So we'll do another control X and we want to do a sudo pacman syu so the databases can resync and then we'll search for steam again sudo pacman s steam and now it is working so i'm going to press enter and then y to confirm All right, so we've got Steam now. So at this point, I can close out my tab for enabling multi-lib and for Steam. And I've got a tab open for the AUR to get Proton up QT. So let's go ahead and do that now. It'll just be yay, S, dash, dash, no, confirm. And then we want Proton up dash QT. And then while that's downloading, let's go ahead and open Steam up one time. And I no longer need this tab open either. All right, so now we have Proton Up QT and Steam is updating. As soon as it opens, um, then we'll continue. And while Steam's loading up, I'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the polybar. Of course, this gets our Rofi menu. These are our workspaces. This is how much CPU is being used. This is how much memory is being used. This is how much free space we have. And we've got our time. And then our little player, if I hit this play button, a uh, grateful song starts playing. <laughs> Not sure what that's about, but uh, it comes free installed. And then there's our volume. And it looks like a gear with an NA. Not sure what this is. And then here's our network traffic up and down. And then power settings, if I were to click on this, I get a nice little power menu here to lock, log out, go to sleep, sleep or hibernate, one of these two, restart, and then shut down. But I'm just gonna click off of that. All right, so it does look like Steam finished, so let me go ahead and log in. And I'm just gonna use the app on my phone. And you do have kind of a system tray over here. You can see there's OBS that I'm using to record the video and then there's the new Steam icon since we just opened Steam. Um, but now that I'm in here, let me go ahead and exit. So we'll just right click on the system tray, exit Steam. And I'm gonna hit super to bring up our Rofi menu again. And we want Proton up QT, oops. Gonna press enter and it shows our steam directory we just want to add a version 825 that's good install and it's going to go out and it's going to pull the glorious egg roll proton 825 and it'll put it in the directory the, the uh, correct directory for us as well All right, and that finished, so we'll go ahead and close that. Hit the super key again and just type Steam, press enter. And we'll let it load back up. Now if we go to Steam and go into Settings, Compatibility, we can toggle this on. 
and you can see GE Proton 825 will just restart Steam. And if we go back into settings, compatibility, Proton GE 825. Okay, and if you want to change the wallpaper, just push, just push the super key, and we want to type in nitrogen. That's the name of the app that's going to allow us to change the wallpaper. And I will switch this. I do have two screens here, so I want screen one. And we'll just click through some of these. It's cool looking. I like the forest and the mountains. A little bird. Cool car. Red, there's the default. Bats. Windows. Windows 11, I guess, if you're wanting to fake somebody out. A cool car. Very clean design, I'll say. All these wallpapers are very, very neat. I am root. <laughs> like a terminal. There's a teal logo. And I will put a timestamp on the video so you don't have to, if, you, if you're not wanting to watch us click through all these wallpapers together, you can just speed to the next section. It's a cool mountain. I think my very favorite was this one. So we'll leave it at that. If we want to get the Brave browser installed, this is how we do that. So I searched in the AUR and found Brave Bin. So we'll do a yay, S, Brave Bin, no, confirm. Put in our password. And that should have installed it there. Let's go ahead and close out of those. Bring up super and type in Brave. And there's the Brave browser. So we can set as default. Uncheck the telemetry. Finish. And it does look like it's already in dark mode, so it's ready to go. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Here are more videos that you might find helpful and informative. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.